Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today. We are going to make an Italian dish. I don't know what I'm going to name it. Something that's quick, easy, should be. You can make it more complicated if we add certain things in, which I'm going to do. But it's easy by not putting certain things in. That makes no sense. Anyway, forget about that. Let's just continue right on. We're going to go with the instructions, the ingredients, and tell you exactly how to make something delicious. Ready to join me? Let's go. So we've got our noodles. You can use whatever noodles you like. It doesn't have to be egg noodles. We've got egg noodles there. We've got two cans of tomato sauce. We're going to put that into the casserole dish. We've got a cup and a half shredded mozzarella and maybe less than eight ounces of cream cheese. Sprinkle some Parmesan. We'll go through all of that when we get to that point. And here's some black olives. I actually didn't put them on, but this is an option if you like. Then, of course, we have our hamburger. All right, we're going to add the hamburger. We're going to cook the onions and the garlic and put the hamburger in. And this is an optional thing. You can leave it out and not have meat. Just have the tomato sauce and the other ingredients that I'm going to give you in a little bit. But we're starting out because I'm going to add this hamburger meat. I'm going to cook the hamburger meat. I also have water boiling for the pasta, egg noodles. And the egg noodles are going to go in. We're going to cook that. Now we're going to Heat up our pan, get that going, got some olive oil in there. And we are going to put, whoops, a little bit hot. Let me turn that down. Put that back on there. And we're going to saute that for a couple of minutes, and then we'll add the garlic. We've chopped the garlic. We're going to go ahead and put that in. Saute that for just about 30 seconds. If you want to cook garlic too much where it will burn, then it'll be bitter. Do that. Then we're going to add our hamburger meat. Probably got a pound. You can put whatever you want depending on the size of a meal that you're making. Large family, small family, yourself. Shut off. We're gonna chop all of that meat up like that. Got this special little chopper, which I love. Chops that meat fine. Works great. After we've got our hamburger meat pretty well cooked, we're going to drain this and then we're going to add some salt and pepper. Just a little bit. Over here. There we go. Just going to take a little salt. Put on there. And a little pepper. Let's hold it right here. I'll just do it like this. Good. Mix that up and it's ready to go. All right, now we're going to start putting this together. And down here, you're going to see I've got all of my herbs and I have the tomato sauces. Now, right here, I've taken one can and put in there and a half of this can makes that two cups. And then the rest of this is the third cup. So what we need to do is put three cups of tomato sauce into the casserole dish. So we're going to do that right now. So that's the first thing we're going to do. So come over here and we're going to go ahead and just pour that in. This is the easy 
This meal should be easy. Should be. We'll see. First time I'm making it, but hey, that's how you learn. And whether you like things or not, it should be great. All right, there we have the sauce. The next part is we're going to take a cup and a half of mozzarella cheese. So we're going to do that. And I'm going to rinse this first. Now we've rinsed this and we're going to put a cup and a half of mozzarella cheese right in here. This we freshly grated it. I have to think it's grated or grated, but it's grated. And it's spelled G-R-A-T-E-D. In case some of you are wondering, probably not, but hey, that's all right. Okay. So we've got... I said a cup and a half, didn't I? You know, doesn't have to be exact, but that's that's great. That's right around a cup and a half. And what we're going to do is we're just going to put this in like this. Let's put that in. All right, good. Now I'm going to mix that up and put the herbs in. All right, let's mix this up. Now come the herbs. Here we go. The first one is basil. Got basil here. And that's about a, maybe three quarters of a teaspoon. Toss that in there. Next comes thyme, T-H-Y-M-E. And that's the same thing, maybe three quarters of a teaspoon. Then we have oregano. I like oregano. I probably put a teaspoon of oregano in there. Do that. Here's some parsley. Look how easy this is. All we're doing is putting the, the sauce in there, the cheese in there, and all of the herbs all at once. Then, now, here's salt, that's Himalayan salt, little pepper, and this is fennel. You can omit that. That's optional. That's optional because not a lot of people have fennel, and you may not like it. It's okay. It's in a lot of Italian cooking. It's in sausages, all kinds of things, and I like it. So I'm going to put it in, but you don't have to. So here we go little bit of salt and this will be to taste some pepper and some fennel seeds let's put some in like that there you put all of that in put that in like that and we're going to stir that up all right now, the next step is we're going to take this casserole that's already got the tomato sauce, the cheese, the herbs, and we're going to put that in the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. We're going to do that right now. Okay, here we go. All right, now we've had that cooking in maybe 30 minutes. Um, doesn't matter, 20, 30 minutes. We wanted to make sure that the cheese was melted a little bit. Pretty good. So we're going to get it out of the oven right now. If I don't drop it. Put it right here. And now I'm going to stir it. We have all that mozzarella cheese in there, stirred. Okay, the next part is 
We're going to take the noodles. We have already cooked the noodles. Follow the directions on that. And we're going to put those in here. Okay? I'm going to get them. Hang on. All right. Now, camera can come down a little bit. Let me go this way. We're going to put some of these noodles in here. You know, I don't want to overload it, so I got more noodles maybe than I need. Try that. And I'm going to stir this, stir them in. Now, let me say this. If you don't want meat or you're not a meat eater, then you're going to leave this next one out. I'm going to put some meat in there. And like I said, this is an experimental dish. So we're going to put some meat in there. And if you don't want any, leave it out. And you'll omit this part. We already cooked this up. We put onions, garlic, and hamburger. Ground beef. I'm not going to use all this. I don't want it to overwhelm the dish either. I want to have it where it just is there. All right. Try that. I'm going to stir that. All right. The last part. We're going to take some mozzarella cheese, put it on the top. Okay. Just lightly. You don't want to overpower it. Then I'm going to take some Parmesan cheese, I'd prefer fresh, but we didn't have any. I mean, I didn't get any. We're just going to sprinkle some Parmesan cheese right there. Okay, that's good. Next step is we are going to put some dollops of cream cheese. And after the cream cheese, we'll put it back in the oven to melt all of these cheeses on the top. And I might crank the oven up. Uh, might put it up to 375. Might even put up to broil just to crank that up a little bit. There we go. That's good. Just like that. All right, does it look good? We'll let you know after after it cooks down. See what you think. Okay, back in the oven she goes. All right, back in the oven. Let's crank this up to broil. Shut that off. Turn it back on. Give it a second. We're gone. Okay. And I'm going to put it on broil right there. Okay. Is it going? Darlene's my camera person and she's helping me out here <laughs> with this oven. Not my oven. I'm from Florida. But anyway, I'm back here in Oregon. We're going to do some cooking. We've got two meals that we're cooking right now. One being this one. I haven't named it yet. And the second one is the Waldorf salad. Oh, you got to taste that. You've got to taste it. It's my mom's recipe. And then I've added more to it. It's good. It's sweet. Lots of fruit. Whipped cream. Coconut. Great. Anyway, 
We're going to cook this on broil for a few minutes just to melt the cheeses on the top, and then it's ready to go. All right, it's probably been, what, 20, 15, 20 minutes, keeping an eye on it to make sure it doesn't burn, and it's looking so good, really looking good. Check it out. Look, look. Oh, it'll be hot. Got to be real careful with this. Look at this. Look at this. Hmm? Does that look good or what? Now, what I'm going to do is shut this off. And we're going to let this sit. Going to let it sit for 10 minutes or so. It's too hot right now. And then we're going to try it. We're going to take a bite and see how we like it. Okay. All right. It's probably been, what, 20, 15, 20 minutes, keeping an eye on it to make sure it doesn't burn. And it's looking so good. Really looking good. Check it out. Look. Look. Oh, it'll be hot. Got to be real careful with this. Look at this. Look at this. Hmm? Does that look good or what? Now, what I'm going to do is shut this off. And we're going to let this sit. Going to let it sit for 10 minutes or so. It's too hot right now. And then we're going to try it. We're going to take a bite and see how we like it. Okay. All right. Now we're sitting at the table and I'm going to dish this meal up. Check it out. See what you think. See what it looks like. And we're going to cut some here. It's a cream cheese that you see on the top and those dollops. That looks really good. I'm going to kind of get the edges here. I hope I can pull it out nicely so it doesn't make a mess. Let's see here. Oh, yes, just like that. Oh, that worked out pretty good, actually. All right. Now, steam is still coming off of that. <laughs> and so it's going to be pretty hot. But here's the thing. I'm going to put a dollop of sour cream. Suggestion. I like sour cream, so we're just going to kind of mm. put that there a little bit. And just so you see, look down here. This is the Waldorf salad that we've got on another video that I just told you about, and here it is. And we're going to have that tonight for dinner as well. It's going to be good. Okay, let's check this out. Remember, I said this was a new dish. Didn't even know what to call it. You know, that's going to burn. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's got a lot of cheese, cream cheese, noodles, hamburger. Okay. Mm, not bad. Heat wise. That's really good. I like it. A little sour cream on there. It's really good. It is good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. And you know what? Sorry. I'm going to get some Waldorf salad. <clears throat> Check here. Oh, this is good. This is good. Look at this. It's got apples, bananas, marshmallows, coconut, walnut, mandarin, pineapple, apples. Did I say apples? I don't know if I said apples. Apples, bananas. Anyway. Mmm. 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 You have to try this too. I'm 
telling you. I promise you'll like it. All right, I'm going to go back to eat this. I'll catch you later.